Hey guys, it's me Anna Eves, and today I'm here to share with you Carla Negger's wonderful book, Saints Gate. I talked a little bit about Carla Negger's in my top five romance authors video because I have read so many of her books over the years and I've always read her contemporary books that were, a lot of them were set in, Knight, in Knights Bridge, Ooh. <laughs> um, Massachusetts, and I love them, love them. They're fun and sweet and romantic and I just devoured them, but I did not know that she also writes romantic suspense. And I am a huge fan of romantic suspense. So I decided that I better tell you, guess what? She does write romantic suspense. I was previously misinformed. I'm so sorry. Anyway, <laughs> this is the very first book in a series about Sharp and a Sharp and Donovan novel. So she has a whole series of books that are featuring the two main characters in this book, which is really cool because usually in a lot of romances, you meet them, they fall in love, you get your happily ever after, and then goodbye forever. <laughs> Occasionally, you can read in like the Knightsbridge books, for example, you can read them and then the characters that you saw in a previous book are now background characters in another book, which I think is really cool and I enjoy that. But if you're reading category romance or a lot of the single titles, it's just you meet them, you fall in love with them, and then you wave goodbye at the end of a fun reading session and then you never see them again. So it's really neat that she is able to take these same characters and show them fall in love and then I, this is the only one I've read so far, I'm going to read the other ones, but I can imagine that it's just going to continue and you're going to see their relationship get deeper and deeper because Hopefully that's what happens, you know, romance novels where you fall in love, that's all well and good, but the hardest part of real love is being there eight years, ten years, fifteen years later, um, or sometimes even a year later, depending. Uh, <laughs> so it's really cool that I know that I will be able to see these characters develop over a series. She also has the next book in this series coming out later this year in September, I believe, which is super cool. Anyway, about the book itself. So, first thing, she does a fantastic job with setting. Um, and just putting on my little writer's hat for a second, that is something that I definitely struggle with, where I am kind of having that setting come through and it's like another character. I've talked about Francesca Leah Block's books before, how she does that as well, where um, she's usually based her books in Los Angeles, and so Los Angeles is like a, another character. And I feel like Carla Negers is really, really good at using that area in the East Coast as another character. And for me, I've never been to New England, so it's fantastic. It's, it's absolutely great to be able to imagine it that vividly. I mean, down to just feeling like there's mist in my hair and all of that. She's so good at doing setting and I aspire to, to that level of just goodness, I guess. I really like that. Um, and then the character of Emma Sharp, she is the heroine in this book. She was a nun, which is the most interesting and for me, after I've been reading romance novels since I was a teenager, and so I've, I've read a lot of romance novels, and I, I don't think that I've ever read one where the heroine used to be a, a nun, ever. So it kind of is a very interesting 
way to have a conflict there because usually it's like a dark past like a lot of, well a lot for me because I read a lot of romantic suspense and a lot of them they have a dark past that they have to get over and her dark past is like the ultimate good girl bad bad thing you know but as I'm reading it and I can really empathize with the character of Emma Shop, even though good lord I'm the furthest thing away from somebody who um study to be a nun sorry i was freezing so i had to get a blanket anyway where was i okay i was talking about the main character yes emma she is now an fbi agent so that is a very interesting transition and her family background was in art theft recovery so there's a lot of layers of her, just just in that, not even covering all the other little things. That's the cool thing about this book is that there are so many different layers and different stories that were woven together. So with the hero, he had um, he's a FBI guy who works undercover, and I love FBI stories, so that's cool. And so you had one character, the the girl who's more of a a desk agent and then you have this kind of um, rough guy who works off the radar a lot so it's fun to see them come together and have to combine their efforts and be very suspicious of each other at first until they start working together. Now there was a kind of a secondary character, a friend of the main character that I really enjoy a lot. Um, he was a priest and I haven't really known priests in my life so that's that's cool because I don't really have a lot of preconceived notions of, of what the priesthood is. So his name was Bracken and he and his twin brother had started a whiskey distillery. So I have my whiskey bottle. It's definitely not the fancy whiskey that they're producing, but it's still, you know, you, you, you start to combine interests when you're reading a book and enjoying yourself, at least I do. The, the characters are having a shot of whiskey, so I'm like, ah, I have nothing better to do this evening but have a, a shot of whiskey with the characters. So that happens and then they were just, oh god carla neggers is so good at describing things and so she was describing these blueberry pancakes and oh, oh my god i want them so bad and i wanted them so bad that i went out and i bought maple syrup <laughs> which i usually have maple syrup on hand i'm, I'm very canadian that way I need to have my maple syrup. This one is 100% pure. I think that they would think that that was okay, even though this is a product of Canada and not a product of, you know, um, over on the East Coast on the US, but that's okay. So anyway, I think that the, the book is just a very well done murder mystery. And then the romance is just woven in that, in a very neat way. And there's a, like subplots and and people that that could be the ones that did it, and it keeps you guessing a bit. Yeah, it, it was a really fun read. So anyway, I highly recommend it. I'm going to read every book in this series, believe me. And um, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this little book club video. I am going to finish this tea. My god, I am I'm freezing and I'm rambling. I ramble a lot. Um, yeah. <laughs> but there you have it. So I will link down below this book where to buy it. And I hope that you have a good day. I'm going to finish my tea. Hope you have tea too. Talk to you next time. Goodbye.